Hey guys, what's going on? So in a couple of days from now, the iPhone 15 series will be available for pre-order and I need to decide which iPhone 15 I want to have for myself because as you guys know, I pre-order and get the new iPhone every single year so I can make content for you guys. I actually did a video yesterday showing you the best way to pre-order the iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro Max specifically. And so if you are thinking about pre-ordering the iPhone 15 Pro, you should watch that video so you can get the iPhone on release day. But anyways, usually I do go with the regular Pro model just because the Pro Max is just huge and super, super heavy. When I picked up the first Pro Max phone, which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, I held it in my hand, the stainless steel, body was just super heavy in my personal opinion and I just wasn't used to that heft mostly the size I could probably get used to but the heft was just way too heavy in my personal opinion for a daily driver phone and I know a lot of you guys probably have the Pro Max phone and you don't mind it you got used to it and that's that's awesome but for me it was just kind of too heavy at that time now though Things have changed, okay? We are now seeing a titanium frame on the brand new iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max, which means it is significant, well, it is lighter than the previous iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max by about 20 grams. With all the videos that I've seen people talking about holding it in their hand, they're saying that it is actually noticeably lighter and it's way more comfortable to hold in your hand. So that got me thinking, is it time to change up the daily driver to a Pro Max iPhone? So usually there is no difference between the Pro Max and the regular Pro besides battery life. This year, of course, they changed something with the iPhone 15 Pro Max that's different from the iPhone 15 Pro, and that is the camera. There is now a 5X zoom on the iPhone 15 Pro Max that's not on the regular iPhone 15 Pro. And they say that this is because of space. The, you know, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is bigger than the iPhone 15 Pro. And to be honest, they probably could have fit it into the iPhone 15 Pro but they didn't, so it's only on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and not on the iPhone 15 Pro. There is also a price increase, kind of, okay? So with the iPhone 15 Pro Max, it now starts at $1,199, which originally was $1,099. So it is a $100 difference, but the kicker is it now starts at 256 gigabytes, which for me, I don't really need that much storage in my day-to-day, -day, you know, my personal phone. I really don't need that much storage because I mainly use iCloud. So maybe I can get rid of my iCloud subscription and get, you know, 256 gigabytes and just have everything on the device. It is kind of cool that they started off with that storage and not 128 gigabytes. So you are kind of getting the same value as if you, you know, just upgraded your storage, but now, it starts at 256 gigabytes. So if you wanted more storage and a bigger phone, it's kind of perfect for you. But if you don't really need that storage, you kind of have to get it anyways. So yes, which iPhone am I going to get for my personal daily driver? And honestly, at first I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go with the regular iPhone 15 Pro because I just like the size a lot. And I think the Pro Max phones are too big, but this time factoring in, you know, my iCloud storage, I could just delete iCloud. I don't really need it that much anymore. And it's lighter and the bezels are thinner and I get that better camera. I might, I'm literally like 80% on the iPhone 15 Pro Max now than I was literally like yesterday. I've just been thinking about it and I really think that makes the most sense for me personally. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are actually doing that move as well. We were always a just regular Pro user. And now this one, you might get the Pro Max just because of the added features and it's a little bit lighter and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, I'm pretty much 80% sure that I'm gonna be getting the iPhone 50 Pro Max as my daily driver. I'm still gonna get both of them just to test them out, just to see which one I like more. So yeah, we're gonna try these phones out in about a week and a half, which is absolutely insane that it's this close already. The year went by very, very fast. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what phone you guys are gonna get down in the comments below. Are you gonna get the regular iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Plus? iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro Max. I'm really curious to what you guys are gonna get down in the comments below because I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be on the switching train like me, getting the iPhone 15 Pro Max instead of the regular iPhone 15 Pro. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. Also, if you want this kind of content, more iPhone 15 content, more Apple content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.